baseball, about NBA, how about NBA? Yeah, we let, we can talk. I, I prepared to talk about the Lakers, and yeah, let's um, go that, but, let's but go we can talk a little bit about the the playoffs. Um, boy, the I I thought it was just going to be easy going for the the Cavs, and then it looked like just, they just became disengaged. How do you they, blow a, they, How do you blow a twenty five point lead? Well, your star at home. Your star went to sleep and never woke up. So mm. well, when you beat a team by forty four, right, and then <laughs> and you're there, up by sixteen, you right, right, and, and then in the no, goal, they were up twenty. One, but weren't they up 16 going in the fourth or the third yeah. or something like that? Middle yeah. of the third, or something. they were up as much as I think 21 22. Well, I mean, the thing that I look at the playoffs, right? So, you know, Golden State goes and waxes, you know, four in a row, and they're gonna sit and wait 10 days. And you got you got the Cavaliers that are up by 20 something, 16 going in the fourth quarter or whatever it was, and they end up losing. But I just started looking at it over. I mean, there's two, it, there's two dominant teams, and then there's a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I'm just wondering, I, if if I was to tell you right now, you write it on a piece of paper, who's the next team that's going to challenge these two teams and upset them? Flip a coin. Flip, there's nobody out there, really. <laughs> well, I mean, unless there's some major trades and major well, guys go, go and build another team like they have in Golden State and Cleveland. I mean, obviously, Cleveland's got one guy. You put him in which... You know, I think they're going to lose love probably yeah. after this let year. Let me let me be contrarian here because okay. because I think that the Spurs. 